and without faith it is impossible to please God because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. Then Jesus told him, Because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. Jesus said to him, If you can believe, all things are possible for one who believes. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me shall not hunger, and whoever believes in me shall never thirst. Go, said Jesus, your faith has healed you. Immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus along the road. For nothing is impossible with God. Truly I tell you, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, Move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. And whatever you ask in prayer, you will receive if you have faith. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, though he dies, yet he lives. The apostles said to the Lord, Increase our faith. For we walk by faith, not by sight. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Then Jesus said, Did I not tell you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God? Though you have not seen him, you love him. Though you do not now see him, you believe in him and rejoice with great joy that is inexpressible and filled with glory, obtaining the outcome of your faith, the salvation of your souls. But to all who did receive him, who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. Whoever does not obey the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God remains on him. Everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ has been born of God, and everyone who loves the Father loves whoever has been born of him. But these are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that by believing you may have life in his name. I write this thing to you who believe in the name of the Son of God that you may know that you have eternal life. But when you ask, you must believe and not doubt, because the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea, blown and tossed by the wind. Then Jesus answered her, O woman, great is your faith, be it done for you as you desire. And her daughter was healed instantly. For in it the righteousness of God is revealed, from faith for faith, as it is written, the righteous shall live by faith. But someone will say, You have faith and I have works. Show me your faith apart from your works, and I will show you my faith by my works. In all circumstances, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming darts of the evil one. For everyone who has been born of God overcomes the world, and this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. Be on your guard, stand firm in the faith, be courageous, be strong. For you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. But the righteous one shall live by faith, and if he shrinks back, my soul 
has no pleasure in him.